I'm going to be making an outdoor rug. It's that rough material. Uh, I got it actually from Walmart when it was on sale. I know Ikea, Target, and stores like that also have them. Typically, you make a stencil out of freezer paper and then use an iron or heat press to slightly adhere it to the material because not much sticks to this material. But of course, when I went to buy freezer paper, all the stores were out. So I tried a few other things. I tried this magic cover from Dollar Tree and it did not stick at all. I also tried some Cricut transfer paper that would not stick well at all. I didn't want to use my expensive vinyl, so I next tried some stencil vinyl. Not ideal, but it seemed to work the best out of all the materials. So, I cut my sheet. And it's hard to tell, but you can see the letters are on here. And I'm going to be taking off all the letters and then placing the, the area we do not want on the mat. And that way, when we go to do the stencil, we're painting this empty space where the letters will be. I'm just going to be using some acrylic paint and then I will seal it with flex and seal. That seemed to work well for other people. And then I will be using either a stiff bristle, a round sponge, a regular sponge, and you're just going to want to dab the paint in and not, don't do strokes because then it'll seep through. Um, I also have some push pins to help hold pieces down, like the center of my letters, if I need to. I also made it difficult on myself because I decided to save as much as this as possible and put all the letters grouped together with no spacing between them. So I'll have to be extra careful with cutting out and painting things. that we have all of our pieces in place. We're going to add some paint and see how this goes.
supposed to look really well. I'll probably get a bit of paint on my hands. I have a little bit more control with the other brush, but a sponge brush I think would work. So I'm going to be continuing to paint all of this and I will see you in a while. Here's the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is actually going to be a gift for my grandma. My grandpa was a huge Notre Dame fan. In fact, he was a manager for the football team. And as the football team leaves, there's a sign before they go out on the field that says this saying, and they always hit the sign for good luck. And so, this is kind of a good reminder for Grandpa, and so whenever we enter or leave the house, it'll remind us of him. If you would, if you would like more information on how I made this, as well as more photos, please head to my uh, blog. It'll be in the description below. I also show how I made this reversible sign here there, if you haven't seen that already. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It, also, it really helps my channel. Thanks, happy crafting.